Hey guys, Lex here, back with some more Persona 5. Last time, Makoto started to blackmail us, and now let's hang out with the twins. What are you gonna do today? Alright, time to name the location, Justine. You do the honors. No. Listen closely, the place we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is one that many people are said to visit. Here, one has the opportunity to view fantasies of humans. We hear there are a variety of fantasies available for Perusal here, and all outside of the palace. How strange. Yes, these fantasies, they are cognitions of the other's given form. They will undoubtedly support your efforts. Does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, you know where that is, then escort us there immediately and make... Uh, could be the movie theater over in Shibuya. What will you do? Well, B. You mean this movie theater? Uh, what? The moving theater? Is this place cursed to wander the <laughs> land or something? Guide me. You shall confirm our intel for ourselves. Lead the way. Not bad for an inmate. That was rather enjoyable, inmate. You won't underestimate the human imagination again. You may claim to have enjoyed yourself, but your screams told quite a different story to anyone who could hear. It's no wonder how everyone mistakes us for elementary school students. Shut up! It was only because of that thing jumping out of my face! And you were just as scared, Justine! It certainly was startling. The eyes and nose seemed to stretch out right at me. And it all began the moment I donned these black glasses. What exactly were those that I for? Greedy. <laughs> Magical greedy glasses. Oh, so there was some sort of trick to the glasses. But your own glasses are just normal ones, right? Your own attention wasn't wandering while you were caught up in the movie, was it? Why is it that humans can create such large and elaborate fabrications in the first place, though? Isn't the imagining of these things satisfying enough? Even dreaming seems like a superior pastime. Why do humans go so far as to spend their money just to witness fictional events? <laughs> For the fun of it. What a naive notion. Humans are such simple-minded creatures. Perhaps humans immerse themselves in imaginary worlds as a means of escaping reality. Escape, you say? That sounds rather human as well. Don't tell you me. wouldn't happen to be plotting an escape of your own, would you, inmate? No matter how much you might rail against it, you shall remain our inmate. <laughs> Even the very thought of such foolish endeavor is pointless for you. Or could that line of thinking be yet another avenue of escaping reality? Huh. What a pathetic fantasy! I bet you were thinking of blasting away the cell door, weren't you? Don't even consider such crassness, Caroline. If he were to attempt such a blatant jailbreak, neither our master or ourselves would notice immediately. Oh, and how would you do it, Justine? I'll use a spoon to take a hole through the wall and conceal it with a poster of some distractive image. Blowing open a cell door seems more impactful. They used that plan in one of the movie previews, right? They wielded a bazooka and went about blowing everything up. Any recaptured escapee is executed on the spot. Freedom or death are only options for an inmate on the lamb. Suspense and excitement are necessary elements of any escape. You learned nothing from the movie, Caroline, or were you simply enjoying yourself? What? Shut up! The inmate will settle this for us. Hey, tell us, how do you try to escape? Will you blast the door or use a spoon? Uh -huh. I'm not going anywhere. That's not the answer we were looking for at the moment. Doesn't matter either. You can't escape us, no matter how sound you think our plan is. At least they're having fun. There's no harm in allowing yourself to fantasize a little bit every now and then. Indeed, today we learn more about the power of human imagination. No wonder such vile plowlesses plague humanity. Uh, You're hereby free to fantasize, but keep it in check, inmate. Your job is to focus on your rehabilitation. Being said, here is your reward. Ray, nice. 
and sigh. Now, let us return. I believe we all will all be all for today. It is time to return. Okay. Escort the twins back to the belt room. 19.3, Wednesday, June 15th. Hey! Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Oh, haven't read in a while. Uh, I never switched this. Hmm. <laughs> knowledge, knowledge. Let's do Medjed. Menace. Hmm? Good or evil, the threat of the Medjed can be felt all over the world. What are your thoughts? There's a danger for a foot in the internet world too, it seems. That's it. Hey, oh, hey. I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So how far did you get? Halfway. Seems like you have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. I guess. The rumors are pretty terrible. Don't you think it's all that blackmail stuff is insane? I didn't think I had anything to do with me, but there are even victims in my class. Ooh, I know all about that. But these guys are supposedly come asking if you want an easy, high-paying job. But then if you say yes, you get dragged into some really shady stuff. The teachers or the students cause so press will do something about it, though people are real worried. Oh, are you talking about that posting? I wonder if she was serious about it. If she knew about Kamishida and that sexual harassment, she probably won't be too much help. Why did it have to be called fast talking student? <laughs> Ugh, that was stressful. Yeah, you got to slack off in class. That Lida guy's here. Try to ask him about it. Counting on you. Leave it to me! That level of motivation actually makes me a little more nervous. In any case, let us know if you learn anything. But Nijibakun, what is going on here? Apparently the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered... Hey, she has two weeks. This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve... How could you ask the police? <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. I'm not reliable. <laughs> From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. Mm -hmm. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Weeks. Ugh, kids these days. So I handed a bill over at the convenience store and they told me they don't take foreign currency. But what I gave them was a bona fide Japanese banknote. Don't tell me young people these days don't know who Hibahiro Bumiido is. I shudder to think that these will be the people shouldering Japan's economy. I hope you all know your stuff. Here's a quiz just to make sure. Hey, Z! Yeah. Between paper, bells, and coins, which one is issued by the government? Both? Unless it's some Japanese thing. What? Really? The Fed? This is it. Exactly. That's right. Paper bills are printed by the bank, and coins are issued by the government. Originally, the government made both coins and paper money. However, with the ability to make it much, as much money as they wanted, 
the economy fell into chaos. An independent organization, namely the Bank of Japan, has been tasked with printing money since. Oh, he actually knew that? No. Maybe I should ask if I could borrow his banknotes. Nice wow, well, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. <laughs> yeah. I am smart, am I? And aren't I? I don't know. <laughs> Not a... Coins, which don't have much of an effect on an economy, are still produced by the government. You simply can't trust a moron to look at your finances. The best they can manage is your pocket change. Imagine all the money you could ever want at your feet. <sighs> I hope the next palace is somewhere awesome like that. I need to change book, change book. Hey, hey I see Lady Arn's going to talk to Edie, Lida, Ida. <laughs> You're gonna back her up, right? Uh... No. Now <laughs> Damn it. Hey everyone, it's Akachi. We're uh, uh, gonna talk about the burgers again. It's almost rainy season, but the constant rain burns me out, and I don't want to do anything. What are you talking about? That rainy season's the best time to buy limited rainy day goods. In fact, there's a limited time drizzled natto <laughs> that's sold at the Shibuya station under ground level. Wow, you really know so much about specials. Okay, let's start the Shibuya Underground Mall. Oh, that place is too confusing for me. And so I really need some money right now. Can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida Kun. It's Ida. Please. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> pronouncing it. You don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Um, now that you mention it, yes. So, um, what I mean is, this is going <coughs> south fast. Uh, oh, Francois! Huh? Hmm? M my cat Francois got run over by a car and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast. <laughs> That's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? If Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Probably. Come on, don't talk like that. If you don't like it, then tell me about that easy part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who... Yes. Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on. Let's leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Uh, where's Nishiyama? Oh, it's me. Wait a minute. <laughs> yes. You're looking for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Uh, where's Nishiyama? Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida? So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. I'm sorry, I don't know where he is right now. He usually stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Yes, that nerd girl, right? Oh. Maybe. I heard this is about the scam group. I heard some of the students have become victims. It would cause quite a lot of buzz if you could solve it. Let me know if you learn anything. I can't read right now. I don't know how to read. <laughs> See, Kun, it's President. 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 Did you keep an eye on you? Student Council's on edge. Hurry. Do you have anything you want to ask about? Uh, Nishima Yaiyama. Nishiyama kun, are you looking for him? He's a really serious student with great grades. I always see him at the library after s Perfect. The library's just on the floor above this one. Why don't you go talk? <laughs> That's just what I need unless there's a cutscene. Which would suck. <gasps> oh, no way. Akato. <sighs> What's wrong? Huh? Hmm? Uh, uh, it's nothing. I was just looking at the bulletin. By the way... Anyway, how's the investigation going? I don't believe there's much time left at this point. 
Do you have any info? Well, you mean about the bulletin? Sorry, but there's nothing I can say to you right now. Actually, anyway, this is a very important matter for our school. I hope you can return with good news. And don't worry, I'll keep my promise as long as you uphold your end of the bargain. Okay. Book. Mm. Are you serious? Mm. <sighs> Ha. Nishiyama, that's me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? It's just about a job. Job? Uh, are you talking about that one time? I, I, I don't know. I said I didn't want to do it. Uh, that's something, Ida. Wait, are you doing something, Am? He's been acting really strange lately. I want to help him. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? Tell me what you know. One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. That sounds familiar. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. How much was he offering? Um, I don't know. I was so scared I ended up going home alone. I only heard that it'll only take ten minutes, and it's good for people who don't stand out. But after that... Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began, too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? Beep, 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 beep. Have you found out anything, Lux? I've tried looking into this high-paying part-time job myself. People seem to be talking about it here as well. Supposedly a man... We'll talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street. And your job is to deliver a small envelope he hands you. Well, I will contact you again if I learn anything more. So he basically... This part-time job is somehow crime-related. So we could have saved some time. I could have went to the library and read. <laughs> it takes ten minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. Fraud. The Mafia are apparently behind all those scams. Maybe they're delivering the money from those? But it's in a small envelope. I doubt big stacks of cash would fit in there. Hmm, any other ideas? It's something the Mafia would commit. Prostitution. What does that have to do with <laughs> envelopes? And it's not really something you can do unnoticed. Hmm, any other ideas? It's something the mafia oh, would Oh, I know. Murder. What does that have to do with envelopes? And it's not really something you can do unnoticed. Hmm, any other ideas? Brought again. Drugs. Like illegal drugs? Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. Beep, 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 beep. You meet Nishiyama? Well, I looked into Ida on my own anyway. Rumor has it he got involved in some kind of suspicious part-time job. That's just apparently totally insane. Something about trafficking drugs, I think. I hear they ask you to take part in it in Central Street. In broad daylight, even. So he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. <laughs> I need that book. Uh. Downstairs. Oh shoot. <laughs> I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima and that's the controls. <laughs> Where's the library? Where's the... Uh, it's right here. Hey, you can talk to him some more. What do you My think? information come in handy? It did, thanks. I never asked for your help. <laughs> no problem, I just wanted to see you guys succeed. Now that you mention it. I'd ask Ida something, right? Still in the classroom with Takamaki-san. Come on, why couldn't you get points for me at liking your answer? Please tell me about the job. <laughs> You're still else? talking about this. My beloved Francois. She's still doing that. All right, take over for her. Okay, I'm just punch him. Give it up. Uh, See? Come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. Nishiyama told. <laughs> I don't want to say that. We have proof. Proof? You've got to be lying. You can't trick me. 
Come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. We have proof. proof? Okay. Come on. Damn it. You did? You bastard! Damn it! <laughs> Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. The bathroom. Pretty close. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. <laughs> yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? That's a different voice. <laughs> That's a voice act. Different voice act. Or a different voice at least. <laughs> You're a drug smuggler. How did you... I've only told one person about that. <laughs> That's a different voice actor. Of all people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. They said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> You're joking, right? Either way, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. No. If <laughs> Pee -pee -pee -pee. How to go? Did aunt's acting help at all? I'm thinking probably not. It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, were you able to find anything, Lex? It's trafficking. That's serious. He's just searched for Shibuya trafficking and got tons of hits too. Well, they're making people traffic drugs, then threatening them. That must be what I heard about people talking about in Shibuya. They seem to be going about this quite openly during the daytime. What bold methodology. I would have imagined they would have do they would do it at night. I wonder why they choose the day. Uh they need to blend in and high schoolers. I see. Yes. More students will be out during the day, while the police will be more cautious at night. Ryuji, you're over in Shibuya right now. Do you see anyone like that there? Yeah, I'm at Central Street. It's tough to tell, though. I mean, there are just way too many people. The goddamn rain's not helping out either. The sun will be setting soon. What should we do, Lex? Uh, let's do this tomorrow. Yeah, that seems like our only choice now. We can split up and search separately, then. In any case, we have some new intel. Let us call that progress for today. Whoever asks us to take on the job should know who their boss is, too. Alright, I'll get in touch with you guys later tonight, and we can come up with a plan. No, I wanted to go to the library. <laughs> uh, thought I actually had a customer, but it's just you. I never get many customers when it rains. The cash register's gonna run dry at this rate. Beep, 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 beep. We have to find them tomorrow for sure. This is the only lead we have right now. Yes. It is highly likely that this part-time solicitor is somehow related to the Mafia. We tell him he may lead us straight back to his boss. We talked to Ida and Nishiyama over in Central Street, right? Indeed. It seems that is where our target waits. But then, who should be the one to go? Morgana, I choose you. It's not a bad idea. Cats have nine lives, right? Morgana can run spare one for this. <laughs> We're gonna get spare one for this. Wouldn't the Mafia get caught off guard if they had a cat coming to deliver drugs for him? In other words, Lex will be going. I have no objection. Tricking people and using that as blackmail. These bastards are true cowards. It's quite scary to think people like that are all around us in the city. Well, guys. We gotta brace ourselves. We're up against a serious criminal here. Alright. I don't even look at the tables. Oh. Huh? Oh. Huh? 
Hey. Did you find anyone who'll hang out with you at school? Make sure you pick your friends carefully. Okay. On Discovery, town detectives, we talk about Seaside Park, which is popular among young people. Relaxing at the park is nice, and the view from the Ferris wheel is really something. Yes, the Ferris wheel is really popular among couples. I'd love to ride it with a cute girl someday. Day is it? Oh, uh, Wednesday. Oh. I can do all kinds of housework, you know. If you have time, request me by phone. Okay, I'm still at work. I'll talk to you later. Oh, Kami's working today. Use the yellow phone if you want to call her. Decide later. Yeah, I was actually thinking about her. I forgot which days, but I guess Wednesdays are the day. Mm. Yeah, let's just... Wait, do I have money? I'll just add this. Uh, how much money do I have? 75? Okay, nothing. Oh. Going to call Kawakami? Let's call the service. Hi! This is Becky. Thanks for calling me on this rainy day. Oh, oh hold on, it's you. Barely get any customers on rainy days. As long as you request me, I'll do your housework for just 5,000 yen. I don't think my bond will co with Kawakami will deepen just yet. Hey! Plus you 5,000 yen, but are you going to call Kawakami over? Uh, Master. Uh, temperance. Uh, let me. Hey. Let me go to. Velvet room, real quick. Hey, inmate. I just wanna see if I could get a temperance, and maybe that'll boost my. Uh, Thing. What? Huh. Hmm? What? Wait, no. You. The inmate needs our guide. Let's execute him. Fusion. Uh. What path do you want? You okay with this? No. You okay with this? I'm in no Uzume. I really don't want to lose her. You okay with this? Oh no. But Mark. You okay with this? Actually, let me just. No. You wish to perform an execution? You change your mind? Your turn, Caroline. You train a uh, persona here. You can only lock up one persona at a time, though. While it's locked up, you won't be able to use it in battle or fusions. If you forget that, it's all on you. As the days pass, your persona will grow stronger and learn new resistance. Not all. If you make sure to burn some incense, the persona will grow even more. If you want more details on that, you'll have to ask later. For now, hit a persona into lockdown. Oh ho! I don't know where you got that incense, but you should use it with this persona. Alright, pick a persona, lock it up. Then burn incense, you'll see the effects by tomorrow at the earliest. So, who's it gonna be? You can't lock up that persona. Oh, okay. Gonna light some incense? Hmm. Which incense are you gonna light? I'll put this incense in there with them. Get over here! Okay, incense. Training. Use incense on a persona. Alright. With that down, no, you gotta do now is wait, but don't leave it alone for too long. Persona is part of your heart. If it stays away for you too long, it could disappear. We'll give you a single warning before it happens, but after that, we'll entirely on you. Oh, man. Alright. The inmate needs no. to change your mind. You'd like to read the compendium? You want to register it? You'd like to register this? Okay, let me summon Fire Kana, so temperance. Be cool if it was an alphabetic order. Strength, eight. Temperance. This persona, you lack pay. Is this what you want? 
Well, let's get Gembu. Is this what you want? I wish it's cheaper here, yeah, Gembu. This persona? You'll withdraw this persona? Go ahead. Then accept this persona. Are you finished? What? No slacking off! Now I could hang out with Awakami. Let's go. Hi. Oh, hey. it doesn't help. Okay. Let's go anyway. Then I'll head over. Hey, get dropped off from the store then. Please clean up your room and wait for me. Oh, you're the one cleaning for me. <laughs> How can I clean my room? She seems to be thankful that I requested her. Feel my bond with Kawakami will grow stronger soon. Thank you for using our service. Thank you for patronage. Okay. Thursday the 16th. So human. So stuffy in this bag. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are Shady Drug Deals in Shibuya is the same organization behind both this and the extortions. Alongside the phishing scams that have been on the rise, this may be their source of funding. Restaurant Factory Fire. A worker from the restaurant giant Hanaruya was arrested for arson. Though he admits to the charges, he claims to not know why he did it. This industry is raising eyebrows. Oh yeah, something weird happened in the food service before, right? Some employer cook it naked? With all these extortions and scams, this world's really messed up. True. I saw Nichima arguing with the principal about the Masafia or something. What was that lad all about? I hear his, her older sister's involved with the investigation. If she, she's just trying to play detective too. Are you kidding me? Can't handle student council president with no focus. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. <sighs> they must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. Uh, let's hold off for today. Come on, man. We got four of us here, so getting some is gonna be simple. How rude! There are <laughs> five of us! You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Lex. Sweet, let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Okay. I wanna go to the library. Alright, let's go. Just as we planned, we might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. <laughs> I can't tell for it. Oh, I can shit the face. <laughs> Not a straw hat. Okay, never mind. Oh, no detours. Hey, cops. Mm -hmm. Once again, nothing to report. There are many people falling victim, yet no perpetrators. They appear and disappear as they please. Not only that, but they blend in with normal teenagers. Stop complaining. If we don't try getting information, people will say the police are useless. The media are already on our case, and higher ups don't aren't doing a thing. This is bad more for morale. True. Aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? <laughs> yeah. We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. I'm not interested. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around <laughs> here. How about you come take a look? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. I was using the same voice actors. That's the wrong kid. Don't see kid guys like me very often. Are you with the Fluffy? Why are you talking about that dangerous to fall of a sudden? I don't know anything about them. 
I haven't been here long. Try talking to someone else. Don't play dumb with me. Why are you confusing me with someone else? I got a friend around here. Sometimes I see him in alley across the way, but I don't think he's here today. He might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. I see. Hmm. Maybe this other person will know something. Apparently he's near the trade station, so let's go look over there. <laughs> Tell me! <laughs> Making sure. Hmm? Let's go somewhere else. I don't trust him. Okay, let's go. Beep, 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 beep. This president's here. I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all of us. Well, let's just ignore her if she's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things on you guys' end? Nothing so far. I'm going to try stalking out the underground walkway. And I'll go check around the Inogami line. I guess I'll get there from the underground. I will gather some more intel in the upper underground shopping mall as well. Please continue on your end, Lux. Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. Yeah, we're all underground now. Homeless man. Where would a homeless man be? Oh, there she is. Hmm? Oh, Lex, how are things going? Oh. Homeless person? I haven't seen any around here. There's a lot of people in this area. Maybe he's somewhere else. Why didn't I text that to everyone? Oh. Well, that's not good. Wow. I already forgot the guy's name, the volleyball dude. <laughs> what do you mean? I know it's DC Douglas, I think his name is, <laughs> but I don't remember. Yo. Yo, you made it, so did you find anything out? You're telling me you're supposed to be getting info from the homeless guy? Well, I think I've seen one around underground right near the construction area. Ha, ah, that's where homeless people hang out. This thing? It's not underground. Or I guess it is. Uh, hey, there he is. Oh, Lex, how was Central Street? A homeless man, hmm? I haven't seen any around here. The place is filled with shops and people. I doubt he would be in such a busy place. True. Well, <gasps> Homeless. Seriously? What's with that scary look on your face? If you have something to say to me, just say it. Are you with the Mafia? Me? No, I'm just a lonely hermit. What could you possibly want with them anyway? Don't go near them, you hear me? They're horrible people. Some of my friends have fallen victim to their schemes. The Mafia is evil, I tell you. Your friends should run away. Easy to say that, but none of them have places to go. Just don't go anywhere near the Mafia. But just so you know how who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal. Thank you. They use some weird phrases, code words, you know. That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. They'll try to come for you even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. Beep, 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 beep. How's it going? Have you found anything? Uh, have you? We've asked around, but there's no knowing how many of those are actual leads at this point. Why don't we just go over it until we've gathered so far? Start. Supposedly some guy near the access way talking about some kind of strong drugs. I'm not counting on anything, but I'll go check it out. Or as for me, I heard about someone up soliciting a high paying job in the station plaza. Apparently they're mostly targeting girls. I'll go see what it's about. On my end, 
I heard there are people saying strange things in the back alley near the arcade. Something about ice and vegetables, and something about snow tomorrow. I'll go observe, just in case. The arcade is on the Central Street, correct? Alright. We should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. Uh, obviously the code word. Uh, how do I get there? Okay, thank you. Uh, where's the arcade? Right here? Like, I lost my bearings. Oh, dear. Perfect. Hmm? I was simply wondering where the arcade is. I'll be going now. Arcade? You're a high school student, aren't you? Better not be looking for trouble. All kinds of shady activity have been secret arcades. What are you talking about? It's nothing more than a place to go play games. Bro. Hey, here's the arcade. Oh, it is this place. Hey. What? Oh, the back alley. Right? Man. What? To take you thing, head to the station square. What back alley? Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> is it is this a back alley? Hello. No. Oh. Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? Shibu is a big place. Out of business. Well, you aren't wrong about that. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. Isn't this the, uh, the billiards guy? It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Yes, I don't have one. Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh, <laughs> you're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Don't blow this. Eh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? He's a cop. I'll call the cops. <laughs> oh. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, it's... You don't want to deal with us. We could always go see your boss ourselves. Come on, you need to act better. You really gonna say that knowing who he is? <sighs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. Follow him. We blew it. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. I was trying to get a job. <laughs> I'm amazed you figured it I don't have any proof, though. I tried to trick him into saying something, but... He dodged all the traps I was laying down. <laughs> Pretty bad trip. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. Sure. I'm going to go now. Okay. <laughs> that boss seems tricky. It looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. I have a gun. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. <laughs> How about it? Wanna wing it up? You guys can decide. You think it's safe though? We did ask a tons of people, so there's a chance we're getting followed. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. Sun will be setting soon, so let's us disband for today and report on our findings tomorrow. Why don't we meet at the karaoke tomorrow? We could talk in private and we'll be cheap after school. Ah, uh, that must be what they call hustle hour. Dude, it's muscle hour. Wait, is that drunk too? <laughs> uh, hello, happy hour. Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Anyway, see you guys at karaoke tomorrow. Karaoke. Okay.
Beep, 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 beep. It's an unknown number. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Ooh. Thanks for earlier. <laughs> How'd you get my number? I dug it up. Docker? I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. Bye. You talking to a woman? Yeah. I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. That's her. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. <laughs> That's her. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That need you must sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Yeah, I think she likes me. <gasps> Other news, there was an arson incident at the factory belonging to the restaurant giant Haner Haneruya. An employee was arrested, but claims to be unable to recall any details of the crime. When questioned about the motive, the employee insisted he did not know where it came over to him. Incidents with suspects whose motives are unclear have been happening often in the restaurant industry. It's weird that you don't remember how is anyone supposed to prevent the least weird crimes? I can't read today. <laughs> hey, hey. Are you gonna play Cosmic Puzzles? You have other stuff to do, so don't get too into it. Let's go. Crossword 9. Held to inform the public. P-R-E-S-S. -S. <laughs> Conference and stuff too. Uh... Press one, two, three, four, five, something five. Info Mer Shell no in or in F O no, Wait, why am I look just guessing words without looking at the letters? Uh, let me do this first. Honor. Medal. <laughs> okay, it's not a medal. Dog command. SP. Speak. It's not fetch. Okay, fetch is not on any other five letter words. Something of honor. Badge? E A E. Yeah. E. Badge. <laughs> what? Megaphone? <laughs> oh, con. Er. Re. <gasps> Finally, it's been a while. Yeah! I've got a dinosaur's conference. Conference. This is when the press is brought together to hear and report on some kind of information being made public. They could be either planned or assembled last minute. When press conferences are held, different entrances and exits are usually established, so speakers won't get bombarded by press as they make their leave. All right. I wow, see. I couldn't even figure that out. That was the easiest nice. one. Maybe you got a bit smarter after solving these crossword puzzles. This one. You know what? Let's hang out with Tojiro. You got time right now? Don't think. Oh, jeez. Next time. Uh, do I have? Let me see if I could get a. You got time right now? <laughs> he is hierophant. Okay. Next time. Let's then. go. 
Velvet room. Hey, inmate. The real question to be asked. Justine, you handle this. Read here. Read here. Oh, fool. Pyro, elephant. Is this what you want? He's the cheapest. A fee is required. Then accept this persona. Wait. Your turn, Caroline. You want to release it? Mm. Done already. What? It is time, inmate. Let's hang out with Sojuro. Let's do it. You got time right now? Uh. Oh, okay. Let's help out. All Put right, your right. stuff down and grab an apron. Don't forget to wash your hands. Sojourer's guidance is extremely precise. I just did as he told me. Thanks. Okay, thanks for helping out. You see, it's just me, or are there a ton of police here like today? Got a job you could do. Want to hear more? Another psychotic breakdown? Oh, you mean how they're increasing security in Shibuya? They're the scum of society. Hurry up and arrest them. And. Posters are so creepy. Friday, the 17th of June. So, we meet again. But my, what murky weather we're having. <laughs> True. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. Yeah, they suck. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Matarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? Ooh, mafia, dude. Uh, criminal, I would think. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Uh, someone's probably blackmailing. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. <laughs> I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. True. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. This guy named Ido, he's uh, working with them. Ah, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. <laughs> and we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean change our target? <laughs> gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. Oh, that's a good idea. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. True. On's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. <laughs> Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. Yeah. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. Someone think for me. Ah, screw it. That's what I was gonna say. I'm seriously drawing a blank. Wait, that journalist! You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! 
didn't she give you her card? Oh. Business card of Ichiko Ohai Ohoi Oya of Mayasa newspaper. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. What? Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <coughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Okay. Oh, do I get a free day finally? Hey. You've been coming home late. Hope you're not sticking your nose into other people's business. <laughs> Chief's as short as ever. But it's more like we're the ones being dragged into things. Yeah, the Mafia. On our recurring feature about dangerous approaching the city, we examined how police have responded. The police stated that they are de dedicating all their efforts to prevent more victims of the Mafia. However, they have failed to make good on that promise, and the public's unease has only grown. Mm. We're hurting a lot of people. I really wish we could find some sort of lead. I should write something. Calories for you, master. <laughs> Probably you some s calories, master. It's Becky from the delivery maid. The maid's cooking option includes together with the maid. It's on sale with a request fee. It's only 5,000 yen. I feel like I've become closer with Kawakami thanks to Temperance Persona Gembu. I feel like my bond with Kamakami is growing. Yeah, let's go. Except Kamakami's deal. Be sure to accept your invitation until you get your trust. Request her. Yeah, better do it now while I ha have a chance. Wait, seriously? Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, then please wait for me with an empty stomach, Miss Master. I'm starving too. I don't know if you heard my grumbling. Master! Well, did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with the maid services I provided today? High end cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? Uh. Yeah, they do. I <laughs> agree, Master. They are pretty complicated, though. Uh, it says to drain the hot water once and leave the sauce packet on the lid so it gets warm. Don't request me if you're going to complain. <laughs> Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me again? I wanted to see you. Hmm, are you sure that's really the reason? Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain since I'm making money from it. <sighs> oh, I'm so tired. I had a faculty meeting just the other day. Why do they have to last so long? Jeez. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have been really restless lately. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. I wish they talked more about our bonuses instead. <laughs> I heard they might even cut the teacher's salaries. I'm so sick of it. Your sister spills right. I'll request you more often. Really? Continue to serve you with all my might, master. Ah, I'm going to be in trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Beep, 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 beep. Hello. What? How much? I can't. Yes, but... That's true. Sure. Uh, yes, yes, I understand. Yes, it's my responsibility after all. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. Uh, are they that expensive? Uh, apparently it's some crazy incurable disease, so there's a lot of fees and extra charges. That's why it would really help if you requested me more. <laughs> Oh, never mind. My student, I can't keep relying on you. Ugh, what am I going to do? Anyway, it's time for me to go. Hey, feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through the maid service. I live close by so I can stop over whenever you need me. Besides, I'm worried that you can't cook your laundry because you don't have your parents. 
Oh, and if you have friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. There's a back way. I feel Kyle Kami's in more kindness. Empress. Housekeeping allows you to request Kyle Kami to brew coffee or do laundry for you. All right. Empress Covenant has reached rank three. Housekeeping. Housekeeping service. You can now hire Kyle Kami to help you at home by brewing coffee or doing laundry. She will help you save time. But, uh, this isn't how it was supposed to go. In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. They get requested more. Good night. Bye. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. Wasn't that my meal so delicious? Could you taste all the love I put into it? But you can't just eat cup noodles, right? You need balanced nutrients. Maybe next time you could try some of my homemade cooking instead? Seriously though, you're still young, so you really need to eat properly. Uh... Uh, I'll work hard at it. Well, I hope your hard work leads to actual improvements. I mean, okay, give it your very best! Um, I know this is kinda silly, but you really do need to eat healthy, okay? I mean, considering how much you spent on requesting me, you could probably afford some good food. Hmm. Well, hope you request me again sometime. Bye-bye! Yeah. <laughs> Makoto? I received a call from your school today. They were asking if you made any lifestyle changes lately. Oh? <laughs> Gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. Been coming home late these days. Doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard some of the girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work. Ugh. Heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors, I know of a few such cases. Uh. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about, just concentrate on your studies for now. Oh, my voice. <laughs> not forgivable. Saturday, the 18th of June. Yo, did that reporter get in touch with you yet? We've only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know. I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. Only got two weeks left, man. Duh, we're in a hurry. Be more precise. It's ten days. We ain't gonna have much time, even if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be quick one then. We must also consider what we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, Joe drinks this. I am merely discussing the possible outcomes. Ain't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Were that the solution to our problem, I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Wow, he's like some kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. <laughs> That's me. He might try and threaten me too. I already did. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. Yeah, your voice is different from the one in the bathroom or the closet or. <laughs> some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. She is. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please. Please hurry. <sighs> well then. We don't have to wait for any word. Let's just prepare the plan in the meantime. Meanwhile... <laughs> Sorry to bother you while you are expecting information from that journalist. However, 
Do you remember that thread about the group of Brooklyners in Shibuya? Seems the one who posted about his brother is a student at my school. So after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Oh right, I was actually wondering about that. It didn't sound like they had anything to do with the mafia we've been chasing. Indeed. I was able to ascertain his brother's name. It's Kazuya Makigami. Dude, it's freaking crazy that someone involved in that shit goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke. We even found a name of the guy we're looking for. That was super awesome. All we gotta do now is punish him in Mentos. Burglar guy isn't gonna be near as scary as the Mafia. He's just plain dude, right? I'll show him what being a fan of these really all about. Seems we are unanimous then. We could further discuss the details of Taida. Hmm. We have our target. We also have the Mafia to deal with too, so make sure the timing's right. Anyway, let's all meet up with Haida when you're ready. And of these were his burglary ring. Huh. Hey, shouldn't you tell the others about the targeted mementos? No. Uh, let me see. <gasps> this is high priority. <laughs> what are your plans? I'm in Shibuya watching people. I'll be in the station a while or anything. Like Yusuke hasn't got him. I go see him for a bit. Later. So, first. Oh, I could hang out. Uh, I could hold off on Mentos for now. Wait, no, it's supposed to be upstairs. Whoops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Took the wrong stairs. So finally, we go to the library. What would you like? Uh, Zoro. This one? Yes, okay. Be careful with it. Hmm. Oh, that, uh, hey, it sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah. Now we go hang out with... Uh, Any changes to your health? Let's do a follow-up just in case. Exam is ready, so all I need is a sample. Takami's waiting for you at the clinic. You want to see her? Hell yeah. I'll be right there. Okay, I'll be waiting. <sighs> you should ask me if I had a recommendation for a pair of feeding glasses. But I'm not an optometrist. Oh, is it because I have an eye tar test chart on the wall? Where? Oh, on the right? You came because you saw my messages, right? I wanted to do a clinical trial. I might want to try a different environment so I can understand how pressure affects the data. For example, someplace that's high above ground. I have to find a good location. Okay, let's do today's clinical trial. I feel like I can become closer. I don't think my bond will take it. Uh, what are you doing? Hang out? Please head to the exam room. Hang out. Takami seems flustered. We talked about random things. I feel like my bond with Takami will grow stronger soon. Hey. Bye. Hope you can help out again sometime. Uh oh. The journalist responded to me. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. What's Shinjuku like? Let me see. I guess to put it simply, it's a nightlife district for adults. Hell yeah. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. In Shuku at night, eh? It sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by, Anne. It'll be easier to move around with less of us. My apologies, I don't have the money to take the train there. Then you're on standby, too. Me and Lex will go, okay? I'm worried. <laughs> it's fine. With Ryuji by your side, you will blend right into the dangerous city. <laughs> Shut up! Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money from for situations like this from now. <laughs> Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. Yeah. Oh shit! It's gonna start now. You're in your uniform? <laughs> huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. 
people aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. <laughs> Looking good. That's not the issue! <laughs> Are you both idiots? I'm just saying now, I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide ya. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Is this really going to be okay? I don't know. Okay, perfect. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here, and then next time we're going to Shinjuku. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.